That's well, what speaking I think. of speaking of somebody, man, who's been in many controversial storylines and who's lived through that era and still look good doing it, man, for the first time in over 20 years back on SmackDown, we get the return of WWE Hall of Famer, former WWE Women's Champion. We get Lita, bro. First of all, I want to say I always enjoy Lita coming back. Second off, man, I love Trish Stratus and I love her theme song, but bro, Lita to me, her whole entrance, bro, just be getting me hype. Like, I should be coming out and she be with her entrance. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, like seeing Lita come back is definitely cool as hell, man. And bro, like she still looks good. If I didn't say that already. But dude, okay, so she comes out and <laughs> yeah. she, she comes out and she tells the crowd, like, hey, yo, man, like, you know, it feels good to be back. You know, the crowd chant her name. She's saying it doesn't get old. And she's reminiscing. And she's like, you know what? I feel she like I, I feel like I got one more good run left in me. I don't know how long. I don't know how short. But I got one more good run in me. Now, the one thing she said that kind of was like, eh, okay, they had to tell you to say this because it wasn't true. She said that there was not a Royal Rumble back in her day. Which was true, but she made true? Like she ne- but I, it was true. But she made it sound like she never competed in a Royal Rumble period, which she did. She competed in the very first women's Royal Rumble. Well, 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 that's true, but I, I don't think that was her point. I think her point was there was no Royal Rumble when it was in her prime. There was no Royal Rumble when you had Ivory, Molly Holly, Lita. Jazz, Victoria, Mickey James. Mm-hmm. There was no women's Royal Rumble when they were. Now, you right. if you put Lita from then, that Lita would probably be a two-time uh, Royal Rumble winner. Like, right, right, be right. honest with it. You know, you would have a couple of women that definitely would be become bigger stars. But I, 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 I that's what I took from it. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. obviously she competed in the first ever one, but. Lita wasn't competing. She wasn't, you know, an active wrestler. She was a Hall of Famer. She was retired. She true. was just appearing. She was just appearing like Trish and all the other women because this was the first ever Women's Royal Rumble. So of course you got to mm-hmm. have your Hall of Fame women come and join in. But I, 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 when she said that, I, you know, I understood that that was, you know, if there was one back in, you know, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, when, when her and, you know, and Trish and all them were coming up, Jazz and, 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 and Jacqueline and, and all of them, when they, when they were coming in and they were wrecking, and they were, the, and they were the shit, like they were, hey, yo, in China, like they were the shit. Those are the women yeah. that was getting it down. So if they had a Royal Rumble, it didn't even have to be a 30 women Royal Rumble. You could have did a 15 women Royal Rumble. You had about 15 women you could put in a Royal Rumble match where you knew only probably about eight to probably really good about good. I say eight of them were legit for winning it. But you could do, you know, you you could do something with it, man. But they didn't think of it then. It wasn't thought of to be done then. And if Trit and if Lita or Trish or any of them could have got in that while in their prime. And not retired mm-hmm. Hall of Famers, I, I, you know, then you know, it would be a different story because they would be the benchmarks for what these women would do now. Now, after she said that, you know, you got the Queen. You know, the Queen right. came out and she had a little something to say. Now, I will say this: I am intrigued at the idea of of of, 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 of one more run for Lita. Uh, you know, I love Lita. But it's crazy because, like, with Lita, what, she retired? What was that? Her and Trish had they match in, what, 07? So we looking 06, at, what, 07, yeah. Yeah, so we're look, we look, we looking at 15 years now. So my thing is I love Lita. I've seen Lita for, for the majority of her career, but that was still so long ago. So to see Lita yeah. knowing what she was back then and to see she still looks like she can go, I, I, I'm intrigued. And then to see – how they did it with, you know, the the queen of all eras, right, with with Charlotte and Trish. I feel like with Trish being gone as long as she was, she came back, I felt like she had a pretty decent match with Charlotte, all things considering. So then you talk about, you know, with, with Lita and, and uh, with Lita and Trish, excuse me. It, know, but for that, it, but for, 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 I'm sorry, man, for, for, for the Trish and, and Flair, it was more of like the rock and Brock Lesnar. You know, it was just that one person that was just really that shit just put, even though Flair is already there, 
but it, or or if you want to think of it, uh, Hogan and Rock. Okay, and you put mm-hmm. it like that, like that person that you know is like, oh man, that's Trish Stratus, you know. And it's like, yeah, that's Charlotte Flair, but that bro, that's Trish Stratus, yo. That's right, that's right, TNA right. right there all day. So yeah, her having that match and Charlotte winning, I felt like that was more of what that was. Let me let me ask you this. Okay, so uh, we find out if Charlotte wins the Rumble, she gets to choose her mania opponent. You know, Charlotte talking her talk. Long story short, Lita hits it with a twist of fate. Now, speaking of Trish, we all know, man, Trish is beloved by everybody, right? Trish Stratus is kind of put up on this pedestal. Uh, but do we feel like, I feel like to me personally, I feel like people acknowledge how great Lita is and what she's meant to the business and everything like that. But to me, uh, I feel like she's still underrated. You know, I feel like, you know, people look at her and Trish as 1A, 1B, but I feel like for Trish is still kind of held at a certain, you know, a certain level as opposed to Lita. What do you think, man? Do you think Lita gets the respect she deserves or, you know, do you feel like, you know, hey, it is, it is what it is. Like people view her in the way that you believe she should be viewed. I think she's a little, a lot better than what she necessarily gets credit for. I I, I feel there's no 1A, 1B. They're just simply tied. Um, mm. You got to take into account that Lita had a little bit of bat- acrobatic kind of background. So, you know, flipping and shit is, is her thing. Uh, and then you just added wrestling. I mean, the moonsault was her finishing move. I mean, that, that, that was really it. It wasn't really much else to it. She go to the top rope and then she do a moonsault. Um, her in-ring work got better over the years. Trish was a valet. She was a manager. Her ring work got better over the years. And by the time it got towards the end of their careers, they had both established each other as something that fans respected the most out of. And that was watching two non-really great wrestlers evolve and develop and become so much of an impact for those for that women's division because you love Lita or you love Trish. You might have loved them both, but you always love one more than the other, or you will sometimes root for them. So the fact that we got a heel Trish and a baby face Lita, or a heel Lita and a baby face Trish, or right, whatever. Right. But the fact that by the time they got to that retirement match for Trish, and you know, they were already the they were the elite. They were the elite. Right. You had yeah. to like that's why when, when that's what people kind of hated about the divas division because it was like some of them women just wasn't getting it, and not only were they not getting it, but WWE wasn't doing the same thing with them. And you know you weren't you weren't grooming them. You was really making them more for entertainment purposes. You just happened to have them do little sexy things in their little divas matches. But when right. I like when you had Mickey James and Victoria come in, you were on a roll. Like you was bringing in, okay, these are younger crop. These, these are younger women. They're going to come in. They're going to be the new faces, the new Mickey James. Literally, you Mickey James was basically served to you on a golden platter. Like mm-hmm. she pretty much was the new Trish, but a little bit more experienced at a younger at a younger age. Where Trish, it it, it took her a minute to get where she was. Where Mickey James had been wrestling in OVW and, and developing and had that time. So, you know, for her to come in and start the, the the story that she did with Trish and then that developed to what it was to WrestleMania when Mickey James beat Trish Stratus and right. yo, and, and she was hot and she was sexy and she was crazy and she could whoop your ass and she could win right. and she was a champion. So that's the that's the respect that I feel Trish and Lita have is that we watched them when they were bad until they were really great. And they fought all types of different people. And they and, and the women that they fought were women that were better at them at one point in time. And then as time went on, they were just as good. So right. when you saw the matches, you, you it was worth it. And it's just now we get more of an emphasis on these women's matches. They main event the shows. They main event the pay-per-views. They, you know, they get the specialty matches that we've never seen women do before. Uh, and, you know, AEW, WWE, whatever. But, you know, we getting all that now. And that's and I, like, the, the, the Ruthless Aggression episode basically, you know, tells all that. So 
uh, as far as to answer your question, I don't feel like it's one A, one B. I feel like it's tied. They're just boom. They're they're those two. That's rocking Austin. Like for the female division, that's rocking Austin. Like you, you. Some people say it was Austin. Some people say it was Rock. Some people say it was Austin. Ah, it's right there. Ah, right there for them too.